It's okay. We probably don't need to, and it'd be feedback as long as. Hey, we're on TV. Hang on, everybody. I've got to play the Tom's Guitar Show thing. Tom's Guitar Show. I'm Tom. They call me Guitar Tom because I'm often seen with a guitar and they call me on the phone and they say, hey, what's your show about? I say, it's about an hour. It's about guitar players, guitar playing, all things guitaristic. So once again, here we are at Uptown Bill's Coffee House, the last Tuesday of the month. And this is going to be a classical guitar extravaganza. So not all classical guitars, but things are kind of close. So I would say that I think that this microphone is dropped a little bit, drooped a bit. It's it was low. Oh, that one? Yeah. Just raise it up if you can, just, yeah. So we're going to uh, play a bunch of, yeah, it's kind of low down, I don't know. Um, anyway, we've, we've come, we've, we've, we've gathered together, including young people, um, to uh, play classical guitar music together. So since we've already set up all these music stands here, and uh, yeah, maybe she can play a couple notes when we're, As long as it's not in the way. Okay. Can you still see? Move it so she can, yeah, so you can see it. It's pretty sensitive. Yeah, Okay. So maybe, oh, it's, it's came, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we could just have this be the floor show. I mean, um, why don't you play a couple notes and see what, it's, see what it sounds like? Just sound like Well, since we've come this far, this is the, uh, English Suite, uh, the Bure from the English Suite by, by Bach. You can call him Boch if you want, but in Iowa we call him Bach. And so this is, uh, yeah, the Bure from the English Suite. Want to do it? Okay. Let me go like.
nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was very nice. That was good work. That's, uh, that was hard work. It's, uh, well, I'll put my mandolin back up here. I, I know this is a, a, a classical guitar show, but I brought a mandolin along just in case because uh, I'm going to do a little, uh, there could be a, we're going to deviate a little bit. But uh, So uh, does anybody want to take one of these music stands off for a minute or so? We can, I'll put this off to the side because... Who wants to be the Eric? All right. I'll take it off. Oh, you want to take it? Oh, I thought yeah, you want to come just, up and play next. I'm just a worker. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, you stagehand. All right. Yeah. Well, who, well, since we come this far, who would like to come up and play now? Uh, a young person, an older person? Uh, I don't care. Anybody. Ah, yeah. well, don't forget your instrument. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to strap them in there. Now, I, I want to tell you that personally, I take the ukulele very seriously. You usually don't hear that, and uh, people, some people say that Tiny Tim, you ruined the ukulele for a, for a, uh, you don't need to stand either, do you? Do you, do you have to read the music or do you memorize it? Is it in your head? You know it by heart. Well, we'll, we'll get this back later when we need it, okay? We want to be able to see the, uh, the man, do you want to use that footrest or anything, or are you okay, or the way you are, or you want one of these, uh, one of these footrests, you can put your feet on there, would that be good? You can put your feet on both of them, here, we'll try that. How's that? Are you comfortable? Ben, right? We're gonna, so we're going to play a little music together? Remember, the, the ukulele has a long, illustrious um, history. Uh, the uh, Europeans began playing something called the chitole about 1,000 uh, ACE. And, uh, you know, it's a little four-string thing. That's when they started using the fingerboard. And so the Renaissance guitar had only four courses. Sometimes they were pairs of strings. So he's basically upholding a fine tradition. And we'll have another ukulele player up here in a while. But uh, we'll just call this a four-string classical guitar. All right, you ready? Tell me you're ready. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Very good. Skillfully done. Stick with me. In 10, 15 years, we'll have you playing that Bach Courant on the classical guitar. Anyway, yeah, that's great. Who else wants? Anybody want to come up? Uh, a young person, a young older person. Who wants to follow that act? Huh? Huh? Oh. Uh, volunteer. Ah, there's a volunteer. There are volunteers. Okay, we're gonna need a couple of. Chairs and a music stand again. So you have two music stands. Uh, you don't need one. Well, we need one music stand somewhere. Somebody. Uh, yeah, let's toss one up there. Yeah, he's got it. Okay. Uh, here we have a footrest or something. You want a footrest or another footrest or? You okay, where we are. Okay. Well, I'm broad-minded. I just. Uh, okay. Oops. This is a. Uh, yeah, you put it. You might as well put it over where you're going to be, because I. Uh, this, I guess John and I have it memorized, right? All right. So uh, this is a uh, a mother and son duet act here, and I guess I'll make it into a trio. And uh, I'm doing it for a little while, but. Play a little Beethoven here. The idea is getting everybody ready to play uh, in public together. So here we go. Let me give you a measure for nothing. You ready? Here we go. We can measure for nothing, right? So. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
First Tom's Guitar Show. Okay, very good. Well, yeah, yeah, well, uh, well, we'll do it again sometime. Okay, all right. Batter, battle weary, some of these people have been on the show many times. So. so who wants to go next? Dan, okay. All right. They're a classical guitarist here. Yeah. Kind of new to the profession, aren't you? Yes, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, here's your, here's your big chance to get your start. Here's a plastic one that's easier to do. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And they don't fall over in there. I got those uh, footstools at the dollar store. They, they cost a dollar, I think. I, I think I spent well over $6 when I have enough for... Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little waltz by Caruli. I call these guys the dead Italians. There's Carcassi, Caruli, Diabelli, and Giuliani, and, and, and a bunch of other ones, too, who wrote uh, guitar music back in the early days of classical guitar, when it was even called classical guitar. It's just guitar. And they wrote all this stuff. So, anyway. <laughs> Do you have anything else you can play? Or? Oh, you're gonna. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's what's this more. tune? Um, this is a song that I made up for my girls. I play this at bedtime and help them fall asleep. Uh, so I call this a lullaby loop because we just go and go and go. So I'll I'll try not to go too long. So. confess that we, uh, most of us met uh, on April 19th at the public library, Iowa City Public Library, 
to uh, kind of workshop and get ready for this event, and we said we're going to meet every month. And those of you I had been able to talk to, I, after, right after that meeting, went up to the library, and they, there are no, uh, we picked a date in May, and there were no rooms available. And so what we need to do is we'll find, I mean, we're, we're talking, we're, we're going to try to meet frequently so we can play together. We're going to play a bunch of ensemble music here in a little while. We're all going to try to play together uh, more often and play for each other and have events because there's not a whole lot of classical guitar activity in Iowa City. So I figured, well, you know, might as well get something started. So, uh, so everybody stay in touch with me. We're going to have to find some place to meet or a different date to meet in May. There is no room anywhere at the public library. Apparently there's a lot of competition. So. I was, you know, I was thinking maybe I could ask Uptown Bills if they would have, we're, we're, we're talking like a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, uh, like in the, you know, early afternoon or something. Like in here or in the other room or in the parking lot or in the back kitchen where you wash the dishes on the roof. Yeah. So, uh, is that, it's pop. Okay, we'll talk. Maybe the Iowa City Classical Guitar Society could meet regularly at Uptown Bills. It's possible. We really, we're, we're very clean and not very loud. And we, we're not going to tear the place up. We, we've done things in the past. Nobody, the police have never come for a classical guitarist. So. The worst thing that happens is that people fall asleep when they're listening. So Anyway, does anybody want to come up next? Does anybody want to? We have our next. Fi ah! Andre, my man. I'm going to look forward to this. I played Plaisir d'Amour. Plaisir d'Amour, nous de Okay, because um, like I was saying earlier, I, I, I've been working this up here with, uh, with Andre, and the guitar is not only a wonderful solo instrument, it's a wonderful accompaniment instrument. So as my accompanist, I have the young prodigy, Andre here. I thought I'd play mandolin because it would be nice. And this is a French song, Plaisir d'Amour. And what it is, is it's the joy of love. And the lyrics go, the joy of love ne durait qu'un moment. It only lasts a moment. Chagrin d'amour durait toute la vie. The, the pain, the, the sorrow, the agony of love lasts a lifetime. So the, the, the joy of love only lasts a moment, but the agony of it lasts a lifetime. So let's, let's remember that as we play this song. Ready? <laughs> You've come so far. You know some other songs, don't you? You know a whole bunch. You got a whole look at a big pile of music you got there. You know a bunch of stuff. I play us another tune. Ah, Carcassi. We don't exactly know what it says because it's in Icelandic, right? Mm -hmm. The title, but we know it's by Carcassi. One of those dead Italians. Go for it.
That's very good. All right, yeah. Okay, good enough, you have one, one more? Yeah, okay, he's done, he's done. All right, okay. That's fine. Yeah, well, so who else wants to come up here? There's a young fellow, I know he can do it. Well, I guess I won't be needing this, so. Oops. All right, Matthew, I want to call you Matteo, do you mind? Okay, because um, I think that was Carcassi's first name, was Matteo. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not saying you're like Carcassi, but you played Carcassi. I think this is front of the sore, though. He wasn't even Italian, he was Spanish. Okay, well, want to hit it? So enthusiastic. <laughs> The Anglais. Okay, I think this is Carcassi or somebody. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Those Italian guys.
Okay, all right. Mateo, my man. Yeah. How about somebody else? Hi, there you go. There's guys all grown up. Okay. There's Mark. I, I happen to know he built his own guitar. Which is a step beyond what I've done. That's the holier than thou? It doesn't have a hole in it, though. Someday. <laughs> this one is by Gaspar Sanz, Ruero. Is that how you pronounce it? Ruero or something like that. I don't know. Go ahead. I'm sorry. you got going on there? Uh, you give somebody else a shot? I don't know. See, there's going to be a bunch more people playing, but there are like three major acts that uh, can't be here tonight, so I've been leaning on these other people quite a bit. So. Something like that. Where are those fierce eyes? Do it again sometime. Okay. Actually, we're all going to be up here playing. Do it. I guess it's uh, unless Eric wants to go up. But you know, we we'll have Eric. We have a. We we'll have Donna doing the uh, Renaissance four-string guitar. In a minute, but first we got Eric. So. Uh, Let's see. So I was going to do the Allegro Giuliani, and then I was going to do the Prelude, the Carcassi, and then that waltz in A minor, Carcassi. So you got Giuliani, Carcassi, and Carcassi. Yeah. That's, that's three. It's, a, it's two dead Italians. Yeah. No. I was really sad about that. I didn't know they were dead. I didn't know they well, were dead. Well, they were sick. born in 1700 something, so you yeah. figure that, you know. Ugh. You know, they died in 18 something. I mean, we figured that, you know, they'd be a little long in the tooth by now, wouldn't they? I mean. Yeah, classical then. Yeah, yeah. Classical. Yeah. You must be dead if you're. Was Elvis classical? He's a classic. There's a difference. A classic. Because we heard that takeoff of, what was that? Love Me Tender? What the one? Yeah, he, Elvis lifted it, I think. Oh, yeah. Plaisir yeah. d'amour and Love Me Tender, yeah. But Plaisir d'amour is somebody named Martini or Martini, somebody who was. Uh, Nominally French from like 1820 or 10 or something, 18, early 1800s. So I guess that was before Elvis. Yeah, that would be classical, not classic. 
It's still it was just a love song. It's not even classical. No, it, it, we got a classical guitar. If we have time left, I'll play probably stuff that's not classical, but I'll play it like a classical guitarist. Oh, I'd like to hear that. Well, we'll see if we have any time. So we better, we better get to work, I guess. All right. <laughs> Again sometime. Okay, we got a special treat. We've got Donna here with the we're gonna call it a four course guitar. Yes. I have three songs. You have to pronounce the first one. Oh boy. Bran de Bourgogne. Yeah. By uh Adrien Le Roi. Adrien Le Roi. Adrien Le Roi. An oldie but a good 1500s is a 16th century music. It's an oldie but a goodie. People ask if you know any oldies, and you say, Yes, I do. <laughs>
So I happen to know that piece was written for uh, the four chorus Renaissance guitar, which is basically what, well, nowadays we call that a baritone ukulele, but basically it's the same instrument. So that was actually written for, you know, a four chorus guitar. Okay, sorry. And this one is uh, by Gaspar Sands, and you can pronounce yeah. that one too. Par par Paradedas. Paradedas. Okay. Okay, and Rujero. Okay, All right. Achas? Achas? Transcribed or transposed at least that yourself. So that was her transcription or transposition of. Uh, yes. Yeah. So Gaspar Sanz wrote for a five course uh, Baroque guitar from Southern Europe. It's quite the trip, quite the thing. You know, we should probably. Uh, did you have something for us there, Bob? Oh, I have a list. Okay, well, why don't you come up and give us a list and then we should get the, the group up here in a minute here to play. But uh, I don't want you to be. Uh, I, I want you to be, uh, I mean, yeah, you are usually the, 
Remember the philo philosophical uh, moment of this show, usually when we have the... Uh... Well, I ran across a list. I ran across a list of things apparently designed to confuse English as a second language speakers. Oh, well, good. For instance, there is no egg in eggplant. There is no ham in hamburger. There's neither apple nor pine in pineapple. English muffins were not invented in England. French fries are not from France. Mm -hmm. Sweet meats are candies. Sweet breads are meat. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Quicksand can work slowly. <laughs> Bo boxing rings are square. <laughs> and a guinea pig is neither a pig nor from Guinea. That's right, yeah. Why is it that writers write, but fingers don't thing? Grocers don't gross, and hammers don't ham. That's right, yeah. The plural of tooth is teeth. Why isn't the plural of booth beef? Or a goose, a goose, two geese. So why not, if a moose, why not two meese? Mm -hmm. That's getting poetic there. One index, two indices. Is the plural of cheese choose? Or is cheese the plural of choose? If teachers taught, why didn't preachers prot? <laughs> If, if a vegetarian eats vegetables, what does a humanitarian eat? <laughs> Why do people recite a play, but play at a recital? People have noses that run and feet that smell. They park on driveways and drive on parkways. <laughs> How can a slim chance and a fat chance be the same thing? A wise man is a good thing, a wise guy is not. <laughs> How can the weather be hot as hell and cold as hell? Why is it that when a house burns up, it burns down? <laughs> you can fill in a form by filling it out, and an alarm clock goes off by going on. <laughs> when the stars are out, they're visible. When the lights are out, they're invisible. And when I wind up my watch, it starts. When I wind up this list, it ends. That's right. That's very good. Very good. Very good. A contributor. Uh, let's see if we can get this whole guitar group up here. We're going to play some uh, trio music. Everybody who can, and grab all the music stands you can find. Uh, we'll put a microphone in front of everybody who's nearby. And uh, if it feels good to everybody has got music and knows what to do. Well, I don't have any either. I'm going to have to sit and watch somebody else's, so. I think I'm going to put this mandolin off of here. So. I think I'll break this. Yeah, we're all going to just get a chair. Um, if, you have, if we're out of our chairs, there's some, you know, there's one over there and a music stand over there. And I could give up this microphone and somebody could sit over there and Somebody get this poor man a chair. And, uh, so, um, I don't know how many copies we're going to have, but we got plenty of those. Just make sure we got more chairs. Okay, we're going to need, uh, we need some place for Eric to sit, and uh, we need two more chairs. Can you play Stan? Yeah, probably so. Really? Oh, I don't know. We'll I can see. play Stan. Um, why don't you come in somehow? We can put, fit one more in here somehow. Yeah, let's see. Um, how about that wooden chair back there? One of these, it's smaller. Yeah, we have music stands. Eric, do you want to sit down? Oh, I don't, it doesn't matter. I'm going to sit all the way over here. And then I'm going to put my microphone all the way over here. No, I've got a strap, so you just stand Oh, no, I've done something. Oh, sure, we could use a, another guitar player. Um, see if you can get in there somewhere. Yeah. Which chair? Do you want to grab my stand back here? It's not. Uh, yeah. It's on the footrest. The footrest there. Sure. Okay. I'm going to try to do this without. Uh, I had a footrest, didn't I? Okay. okay. This is a $1 footrest. Um, Okay. We're sitting on Eric's lap over here. You got uh, got room? Got a place to put your foot? Are you okay? Yeah, everybody choose a part. 
First day of spring. Uh, uh, I'll be number one. I'll be number one. I'll be three. Okay, okay everybody. Two, three. Yeah, okay, everybody. Okay, uh, I'm going to count to, okay, ready? We're going to play the first day of spring from the Icelandic uh, classical guitar school book, okay? One and two and... Again, we're in two four time, so I'm gonna go one and two and one, and we come in in two and right, mm -hmm. one and two and one and. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta close the show off. So uh, thanks for coming down. We'll do it again, okay? All right. All right. So uh, 
I don't know what I got, I got like what two minutes left or three. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I don't know what mic is what right now. Oh yeah, well I'm. Uh, well I was. I was over here. You're good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one on my guitar. I just wanted to. I just wanted to play something that wasn't classical guitar or classical music on my classical guitar, just for fun. So I, uh, I just decided to play a Beatles song. Anyway, we're going to uh, we're going to do this again. Classical guitar. We, we I've been calling this the Iowa City Classical Guitar Society because back in the '90s or so, we, for a few years, we had an Iowa City Classical Guitar Society. We had we had uh, recitals. We commissioned. We raised some money and commissioned a piece to be composed and did some various things. And then one thing led to another, and then it uh, it came to an abrupt end. So we could try again. So we, uh, anyway, so the whole thing is we, we'll meet anybody who plays classical guitar. You can get a hold of me with PATV, or maybe you can even talk to Uptown Bills, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll hook you up because we're going we're gonna to get together and play ensemble music. And